Hi all. So today, mental health nursing unit five, sleep disorder. Okay. What is sleep disorder? You all sleep night and day together, huh? So sleep disorder is categorized into two types: dysomnias, parasomnias. Okay. Dysomnias is again classified into insomnia, hypersomnia, sleep wake schedule. Now insomnia already you know first year you have already learned what is insomnia. You are not able to sleep properly, lack of sleep. Okay, that is insomnia. Frequent awakening in the night. Okay, and early morning awakening can cause insomnia. Medical causes. What what is the medical causes? If there is any pain or discomfort. Okay, if there is any respiratory disease problem, heart problem. Okay, then because of the age, the person is not able to sleep. Then periodic movement in the sleep means um, regularly the person is moving in the sleep and all because of that he is not able to sleep or if the person is having chronic alcoholism okay usually when a person is drinking he will sleep properly but if person is having chronic alcoholism he will not able to sleep properly okay then psychiatric problem what are the psychiatric problems are like mania mania is a mood disorder which you will be learning okay depressive person that is also a mood disorder severe depression is there the person is not able to sleep then schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder okay because of schizophrenia the person is not able to sleep but this is condition is that then anxiety now tomorrow is your exam you people will sleep i know but few people who have not studied they will not be able to sleep they will be having attention tomorrow is exam how will i study right how will I write the exam? Because of the anxiety, they are not able to sleep. So anxiety disorders is there that you will be dealing later. Okay. Then, due to some social factors, financially, 1 lakh rupees is loss. You are able to sleep? No, right. Then, if there is a marriage divorce or a breakup, you are not able to sleep. Then, retirement, death of a close relative or death of a known person stressful life situation okay so this is the disturbances happening okay social causes now behavioral causes is like you choose from morning to evening you're sitting uh, ideally will you feel sleepy in the night no morning to uh, evening if you're very busy you feel tired and you feel sleepy right from morning onwards you are sleeping, how will you feel sleep in the night? That is one thing. Okay. Lack of physical activity, irregular sleeping hours. Okay. Then, uh, disturbances like hot. If um, it's very hot, okay, you are not able to sleep. If it is very cold, you are not able to sleep. If it is very um, sound, okay, noise. Like if you are sleeping here and the other room they are playing DJ, you are able to sleep. No, right? So, these all are the causes of insomnia. Okay. Now, what is the treatment is like? We have to ask the patient to have a heavy, uh, avoid having heavy meals before the food. Okay. Then, beverage and contents should be avoided such as um, coffee. Some people take coffee and they complain that they don't feel sleep. Coffee will not. If you are taking coffee, you are not able to sleep right? because coffee triggers your sleep. Okay. Then, reading and watching televisions and all. So, when you are watching television, you will be like waiting for the movie's climax. So, as a, till the climax, you are not able to sleep. Okay. Then, uh, we have to ask the patient to uh, take plenty of water, drink milk before the bedtime, um, regular exercises, yogas. Okay. Keep the person physically active. This and all will be the treatment. And at last, we can give some uh, medications for the patient to control to sleep properly fine so that was all about insomnia fine so next we are going to deal about hypersomnia the word hyper means increase increase to sleep okay opposite to insomnia hypersomnia is also known as excessive sleeping okay like daytime is also a person sleeping nighttime is also a person sleeping like a drunken person okay what are the causes of it it can become like sleep paralysis, we can say. Okay. Then, 
repeated episode of apnea during sleep because of that the person is not able to sleep just that's why the person is sleeping from day to night apnea means absence of breath okay then that was about hypersomnia increase sleep in the day as well as in the night fine then uh, the third dysomnia is sleep wake schedule see if the person is having night duties and all shift wise so the sleep is disturbed the person usually a human being work in the morning sleep in the night right but we nurses sometimes in the hospital weekly once or monthly once we have night duty right so what we do is like we sleep in the morning we work in the night so that time uh, it's like a sudden change to our body so the body to take adjust and all it will take time so when you work in the night and the morning also you might not feel sleepy till your body get adjusted to it okay so that is also a disorder okay then uh, parasomnias is divided into two phases stage 4 and other other is related to any medical condition okay parasomnias uh, stage 4 first one is somnambulism somnambulism means you might have seen in movies or any of your friends when they sleep they get up they walk okay walk in the sleep their eyes are closed they are deeply sleeping but they are walking they open the door wherever they want they can go that is a condition of sleep disorder which is known as somnambulism okay then night terror night terror is like you watch ghost movies and all you feel that ghost is next to you you're not able to sleep okay and you you make a certain voices terroring factors and all so that the other roommates who are there with you they will also get scared of it the next one is sleep related enuresis enuresis means bed wet this usually happens with small children but after being matured also the person who is sleeping and he is bedwetting is a disorder which we can say it as a sleep related enuresis next one is brookism brookism means tooth grilling okay when you get very angry you're not able to show you you just bite your teeth very hardly right that is known as brookism okay what is brookism is like when a person is sleeping he is down in sleep but still he is um, uh, tooth is grilling okay that is known as brookism then the person uh, from morning to evening whatever incident happened he will be talking in the sleep the same incident so for any secrets and all if you want to know you just to just go and keep your ear very keen and just listen what they are saying that is known as sleep talking or somni look okay so that was all about parasomnia. The other is like related to some medical condition. First one is angina. Angina is heart attack. Then sleep paralysis, asthma, seizure. Okay, because of the seizure and all the person might have sleep disorder. So this was all about sleep disorder. You have homework. You have to write nursing interventions in sleep disorders. Fine. So, here ends sleep disorder. Bye.